I'm on a path. Uh, hey, Weasel. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't get your uh, your video. I found it. Um, so this is my response to you. And Weasel, I'd ask you if you've ever seen uh, the movie Labyrinth. Because I think mo the movie Labyrinth has all the answers. Um, you, you were talking about your workmates. Like maybe people are getting hurt at work. Maybe they're getting home, uh, hurt at home and they're claiming it was at work. And uh, it reminds me of the, of the creature Hoggle. Uh, that helped Sarah out. Helped her and deceived her. And worked for the Goblin King, Jared. Um, a kind of against his will. And, uh, like, could you really say that, uh, Hoggle made the wrong choice? Um, or did Hoggle do the best he could under the circumstances? Because, um, no matter what, this is, that's where Hoggle lived. Uh, Sarah was, uh, Sarah's just coming and going. Sarah, you know, in some ways, Sarah caused to happen some of the things that uh, happened to Hoggle and uh, who's to say that you and I wouldn't make those exact same decisions like um, you might not necess you might you might call Hoggle dishonest or you might call Hoggle uh, trying to do the best he can uh, with what he's got Hoggle might try I mean imagine Hoggle trying to play it honest and uh, imagine that uh, affecting him for the rest of his life uh, in a negative way. So, yeah, I, I don't, I wouldn't judge a hoggle. And uh, Sarah um, started off like a, a, an adult uh, that wanted to hold on to childlike things. Uh, also, uh, she started off like the kind, a kind of child adult that. Uh, tells other people how they feel or tells other people that they've failed or tell other people that they haven't done enough. Um, and you know so you see where that Sarah you see where that gets Sarah it gets her in uh, gets her in deep trouble. And what gets her out of deep trouble is uh, is acting like an adult, uh, taking responsibility and not giving up and uh, thinking more along the lines of um, what's going on for her and then trying to actually look and see what's going on for somebody else rather than just going ahead and giving her uh, an impression on them like you seem like this so that's what you are um, uh, Bluto Bluto smell um, he looked terrible, he was roaring, he was acting violent, some creatures had tied him up and were trying to kill him and like, you might look at that and think, well I'm glad they got to that thing first, I'm glad that thing wasn't loose. Because it's obviously angry, it's obviously dangerous. But that wasn't the case, things aren't always what they seem. And sometimes it just takes, oh, that was a big snake. Sometimes it just takes time. It takes time and uh, to be open and thought, openly thoughtful, to watch and see. And then uh, the YouTube star of it all was the Goblin King. Um, you see, the Goblin King has all this, this power and these influence, and when he laughs, people laugh, and when he doesn't laugh, people don't laugh. Um, and you see him hanging out with a whole bunch of goblins at one point in time in his palace. Um, he looks really bored and frustrated. And not, not, not like, probably like it wasn't like what he thought it would be. He's in the center of things. And I think that the, t the times where he wakes up the most is when he's talking to, uh, to Sarah. He gets to talk to a person. Uh, before being the Goblin King, the great YouTube star Goblin King, he doesn't get to talk to anybody. Weasel, he couldn't talk to you. Um, unless he was involving his entire world, you know, with you. Unless you were a uh, Sarah, um, having to fight her way uh, through the labyrinth uh, to the Goblin City and then to the, uh, the, the, king, uh, the King's Castle 
and then to take back what he stole. You know, unless you're a Sarah willing to do something epic like that, um, the Goblin King just gets to do things in front of uh, the many. And uh, everyone's like, oh, even though it's like what he does all the time. So he doesn't really get to do anything different. He doesn't really get to express himself in any other way other than how, it's, how he's expected to express himself. And uh, he ends up trapped. He ends up trapped. Ah, that's why I would never be a Goblin King.